Hello everyone, Sarah with you today. I'm so happy you have decided to spend some time with me this evening here on my YouTube channel. Today I have a layout that features lots of mixed media and die cutting and fun supplies. So most all the supplies I'm going to be using today are from Brutus Monroe. I'm starting with this gorgeous Celestial Skies Glitter Glaze. Now for my background, this is a galaxy background that I created maybe as long as a year or so ago and it has been sitting in my stash just waiting waiting for the perfect photo waiting for the perfect products waiting for me to be inspired to use it i am a huge fan of sitting down and just playing with stuff learning how things work um having a little like mad scientist lab time and then things i like i have a special spot on my paper tower that I put the things I like and then I can come back to those things and I can die cut them or use them in a multitude of ways. And that is what this galaxy background is. So this galaxy background was made with distress oxide inks and some watered down white acrylic paint and lots and lots of blending. On top of my pretty galaxy backgrounds. I am using the splatter stencil and the celestial skies glitter glaze and I'm going to add some fun texture and interest to my paper. So I already know what, what uh, photo I wanna scrapbook for this particular layout today and I am go I'm thinking about where I want my photo and then where I want some embellishment clusters where I want to put some die cuts so these areas that I'm putting the glitter glaze on I'm going to build those up with some die cuts and uh, some stamped images as we work through our layout today but for now I'm just taking sections of this splatter stencil very carefully I am using the thinnest smallest palette knife I have so I'm just getting those little splats that I want onto my background. Fast forward a little bit here and our glitter glaze has dried. And here's my photo. So to back my photo and add more color to it, I just took two sheets of out of this world pattern paper. I didn't even cut them down. I just layered them up behind my photo. I'm using a five by seven photo today. So this is gonna work out perfectly. I am also gluing everything down with my Nouveau Dulux adhesive because we have lots of mixed media and different kinds of textures. So I wanna make sure everything would stay nice. I'm just gonna let that, sit that aside and then check this out. Look at this. Okay, so this is alcohol ink and gloss stock from Brutus Monroe. That piece that I just showed you is actually, was actually like my ex experimenting mad scientist page and I have another video that will be coming up in a couple weeks showing exactly how that gloss stock works with alcohol markers but for today we're going to take that kind of experimenting and we are going to die cut it so I've die cut the gloss stock I've die cut the title out of the gloss stock and then in addition to the um pattern gloss stock I've also die cut my title out of some Not Your Mama's cardstock, white cardstock, and I'm gonna layer these up and make my own thickers. And while we are talking about things from Brutus Monroe that I've discovered, check this out. Okay, so you guys know how much I love to die cut my letters and stack them up and make my own thickers. And I was using one of my Nakapa uh, silhouette mats to kind of hold my letters in place while I stack them up. I got that idea from Nicole, who is Nicole Bing, or who is Nicole, who is Coley Bing on YouTube. Um, and then when I got my design tea package from Brutus Monroe, I started putting and building my thickers on one of their stick and stamp mats and it is fabulous. So. It, if you are a scrapbooker and you like to make your own thickers and you like to stack them all up and you just, that is your jam, like it is mine, you need a stick and stamp mat because it will hold 
all those pieces in place perfectly. I, You guys, I cannot say enough how amazing this is. It actually holds the letters better than um, the silhouette mat that I was using before. And it is smaller. Like, it's a nice, perfect size. And I love it. This is awesome. So keep your eyes open for my British Monroe videos coming up. We're going to do one with all the gloss stock, gloss stock fun. And then and I'm going to show you like how to make those backgrounds with the alcohol inks. And then also you all, you need a stick and stamp mat. Like you need one like this fabulous works so good. If I have ever enabled you to buy anything and you trust me, trust me, you guys, you need a stick and stamp mat. All right. Now let's put our layout together. Also, you need this pattern paper because wow, this pattern paper is just the bomb. It's gorgeous. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. I have die cut from some cardstock and from some like metallic paper in my stash and from some of that gloss stock that I used the alcohol inks on. Die cut all of those using the spaced out die set. And that's what we're gonna do for our embellishment clusters and all of that. So first I wanna get my title down and in place. So I'm gonna start with that and I'm just going to get it lined up and onto my page. This is a photo of our two children in the car. We were running errands one day. I went to the grocery store um, and they stayed in the car. And when I came back, this is what they were doing. And I had to snap a photo because it was so funny. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm also using here my Close to My Heart T-Square ruler that as of yesterday <laughs> might not be available for very long. Um, but I do love it. It's fabulous and I'm so happy that I have it. So I'm just gonna glue these words down and get my title into place. And my title is, You Are Out of This World. I started with the world and I'm working my way up. So everything is um, nice and straight and even. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start working on these pretty clusters. So I've kind of put the magnets down to hold my paper and my background in place on my glass board studio mat. And now I can kind of decide where I want all these pretty, pretty planets to go. In the description box below, you will find links to a stick and stamp mat. You will find links to the paper pad. You will find links to this die cut. You will find links to the glitter glaze that I know is not showing up the best on video, but trust me, it's there and it's gorgeous. Um, yeah, all the links you can, if it's available and I can get a link for it, it will be in the description box. So if you go down in the description box and there isn't a link for something that you're looking for, probably means it's sold out, not available, etc., etc., etc. So here's another fabulous little item from British Monroe Space Release, and that is the spaced out die set, which is fabulous. So again, I have cut, I have cut this these dies from I grabbed a little bit of yellow and a little bit of teal cardstock from my stash I have the it's kind of like a mirror um dark maybe black but not black it's like a dark silver or platinum maybe anyway it's from my stash and it's like a metallic it's like a metallic cardstock and I'm not sure who makes it or where I got it so I apologize that I can't send you to the right direction but I actually just ordered some precious metals cardstock from British Monroe so depending on what colors what all colors are included in that pack I might be able to get I might be able to hook you up with some of that color card that color of like silvery dark silvery cardstock we'll see anyway let's talk about these stars so you guys I, I talked about these when I hauled them and I adore them <laughs> So much the little star dies that are in the spaced out die set I love them I mean just grab whatever scraps of little gorgeous specialty cardstock you have hanging around your house metallics glitters and then you can just go crazy cutting stars that's what I did 
And that is actually what I will continue to do for a while because I love these stars. I love them. It's like, you know, sometimes sometimes you want a little a little something with your sequins in a cluster. Or sometimes you want a little something with your nouveau drops in a cluster. Um, and I know some girls online use the, the little stars. Like they'll cut this, the little uh, five point stars with the, the different specialty card stocks or they'll cut um, hearts. I know like uh, Inky Quill, she does that a lot. She cuts tons and tons and tons of hearts with that tiny little punch of hers and then she sprinkles them everywhere. Hearts are okay and the five point stars are nice too, but you guys, I am all about these sparkles. <laughs> They're unique and fun and awesome. So now I have pretty much decided where all of my little clusters are going to go. See how it kind of makes almost like a little galaxy around the photo of my boys. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything glued down and I adhered really well. And then that's what we're gonna call this layout all finished. Adding these last little bit of sparkle to my page. And I absolutely love this layout. I'm so glad that when I made this galaxy background, I saved it and I stuck it aside even though I had no clue what I would use it for or how I would use it. Um, and I just, I found the perfect photo and Brutus Monroe made the perfect product and now it is a gorgeous layout in my scrapbook page, scrapbooks. Here are all of the close-ups. I hope you enjoyed this process and this layout as much as I did. I absolutely love this space release from Brutus Monroe. I have made so many projects with it. It is absolutely beautiful and I cannot wait to make more projects with it because it is just that good. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you again soon. Bye!